hi and welcome to my channel so I wanted to share with you some amazing news and of course I wanted to share with you the messages of what's coming for 1111 and the new moon energy because we're going into this major scorpion new moon energy that I just have a, I just put up a listing for for this uh, new moon energy uh, once again if you need help I could do payment plans I could do it in two parts because it's like it's not that far away um, so today I actually last night was right when I was ready to go to bed because I worked um, pretty late filling orders um, and doing your spiritual work and I got this beautiful message and I want to read it to you it says hello Daisy my name is Jude and I have read your books on journaling on Amazon Kindle and I just want to thank you for your amazing work. My sister-in-law applied your principles and won 6000 on the lottery. I just want to ask you, because um, he wants to know about the angel seals of the cash book. So I had taken the cash book down. But his sister took his books, my journaling books, and applied the the rituals the principles as he calls them and she won six thousand dollars in um the uk lottery they're from uk wow so that made me so so happy i am so happy when i hear that you guys have manifested i don't like to hear you guys when you tell me that you're not doing this or it's not working or that makes me sad when i see that you manifest and you know co-create this beautiful magical energy that makes me happy that makes me happy so the ritual that we will be doing, I have it on my Etsy shop. It is, what did I call it? Because I also have the summer solstice one. That's another one you could do payment plans for if you can't afford to do it all at once. But that one is for uh, December 21st, which I started on the 20th. So you have to have it paid before I start. Um, I don't see it now. There it is. New Moon Prosperity Ritual. It's um, 111 11. So this ritual is all about because Scorpion energy, Scorpio is one of the strongest signs. One of the strongest signs in the zodiac, if not the strongest. And it is a money sign. Scorpions, usually more often than not, Scorpions are very abundant individuals. So this energy is about career shifts, promotions, new businesses. I'm just getting out of that rut energy. So if um, lottery, you know, like if for those of you that are all about the lottery, <laughs> this is the time to play those tickets. And um, don't forget that I have my scripting journals. Um, I share with you them all the time, uh, just like beautiful Jude shared that his sister has applied the principles and, you know, she is super happy and sharing my work. And um, she says, he says he's going to leave a review. I asked him if I could, you know, share the testimonial. He said yes. So I'm super duper happy to share this with you all. Now, let's see what this 1111 energy has. Okay. Okay. The answer is no. <laughs> I think these cards are so funny. <laughs> Let's see why the answer is no. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this is assertiveness. I like this. I love the way this verse is like, no. Um, when you do not want to do something don't do it when something doesn't feel right when you have people coming over that have toxic negative energies it's okay to defriend them it's okay to let them go you don't have to be mean because I've come across some very mean people <laughs> but um, you could just simply let them go you know start getting busy usually the universe has a way of just detaching you from toxic individuals but say no to overworking say no when you feel unsafe in relationships if you don't want to get back with someone that has had a toxic relationship with you it is okay to say no because this new moon energy is about the newness the changes the blue moon was about manifesting releasing letting go um a lot of uh goals a lot of desires you know a lot of intentions so now it's about okay i did all that 
Am I going to go back to the old paradigm? Of course not. No, that's your answer. And if you look at the beautiful mermaid, she's surrounded by a lot of prosperity, a lot of abundance, but she's almost in a position of awkwardness of like, I'm not going to do this. Like she's bent over. I don't want to do this. This doesn't feel right. So I feel like that is what you need to look at in your life. Are you not happy in your home? Are you not happy in your job? You're not happy in, in your love life. What is it that it has you twisted? Really write this down because this is the moment to see the way, the clarity to change that. Because I'm going to tell you, you're going to have the rug pulled under you. You're going to get you're going to get out of the job either by being fired or laid off or whatever. And then you're going to freak out and you'll be like, oh my gosh, why did this happen to me? Well, because it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to, for doing bigger and better things and in a job that you actually enjoy and love. I love the way spirit just comes out and just tells us like this, you know, here's the beautiful empress. If you look at her, she is just releasing all of the butterflies of changes so a lot of changes this is not just you this is worldwide no longer the old paradigm and I'm gonna say this and I know a lot of people I don't I, I don't talk a lot about politics because as a spiritual person I try to detach myself from that energy but I will tell you this I have felt that during our presidency that Trump was gonna tr take over if Trump takes over he doesn't last long. So either he passes over or it's taken from him. Something occurs that he doesn't. So regardless of how he tries to do this, he cannot because we are going into the era of Aquarius and the dog energy is behind us. That rooster dog, I'm in control, barking, you know, he's like a big old chihuahua that energy no longer serves us. So this goes the same for Russia, for like uh, Hong Kong, Korea, I think it's Korea, right? Korea, all of these energies will start to shift. I actually see um, a huge death in I think it's Korea. And there's like a lot of scramble and a lot of secrecy, but it eventually comes out. So understand that we are going, there is going to be a lot of power struggles. There is not, it's not going to be, you know, I don't see like wars, but I do see a sense of uh, a tug of war, you know, like tugging, like trying, like, you know, we need to live in tranquility and peace, do our part. And how do you do a part? By getting a better job, by working on you, by being loving, the other day, I got, I actually got my first one star on my shop, and it wasn't even my fault. Um, this guy just comes over, and he demands, like, for me to do. Like, it's like, I can't even, because I, I deleted it, because things like that just upset me. <laughs> it's like, attention. This is, I'm, I'm like, physically freaking out over this. Attention. I need you to do this for me now. Resolution to take action over what I am asked. I mean, it was just like, was he real? <laughs> I have to laugh about it now because I was just like, I read this and I was like, do I even reply? So I knew that this was not an energy that I wanted to work with. I'm all love people. I'm all love. I'm all the angels. Do not come to my shop with your eagle because I don't work with it. I don't work with it. I'm very honest. If I see that, Spirit will tell me right away. And you could ask, I mean, so many people that have like, look, I'm not going to do this for you because of this. If Spirit says this love spell is not going to work, this is not worth it, whatever, I will tell you. I'll be very honest. And I refund. You don't know how many refunds I give. Because when Spirit tells me, look, Daisy, tell them. And sometimes people still won't move forward because they, they have their intuition. Like your intuition, my intuition, different intuitions. Sometimes you have that gut feeling. I get it. And I'm here for you. That's why I love to do what I do. But when you have egocentrical people that have that negative energy, that low vibration, who knows, unseen forces that kind of, you know, puppeteer them, and they come into my world, I will no longer stand for it. No. And that is what we're talking about. This is the energy that we're talking about. I messaged Jesse because I don't think it was fair that I refunded him and he still left me a review. Uh, I think he wrote something about don't waste your money. She doesn't even talk to you back. And it wasn't like he messaged me today and I, not even a day. Like he wanted my attention. Like stop what you're doing. Take care of me because I'm the one. <laughs>
and then he wonders why his life is in turmoil. You have to be loving people. You have to be loving. Do you think our president's life is blissful and happy? Do you think? I mean, just look at the way his his significant other stands next to him. Look at that awkwardness. That there's no love there. You want love. It's not about money. It's not about it's about happiness. It's about joy. It's about tranquility, simplicity. I am super happy of my life because I cherish what I do. I absolutely adore the time I spend with my grandchildren. My time with my husband, my kids, going out, having coffee. Just when I'm done here, I'm going to go have some coffee and work on some more of your energy work. That's my life. That's what makes me happy. Now, let's see. Another no. <laughs> Everything is no. This and then look at it. Look at it. Here, here is this beautiful divine person sitting down, connecting with the angels, and the answer is no. I absolutely love this, and you're gonna. And this might freak you out, because it's almost like it's saying that what what has happened in the past will no longer be our future. Will no longer be our now moment. The angels are here. They're walking among us. They're surrounding us with their divine energy. Beautiful, beautiful. I absolutely love it. Here's more. This one is the king energy. This is the shift. This is the shift. Um, I would feel like maybe in our leadership. Let's see. It's almost like, yeah, like by that time we find out the major shift. And then we go into an era of abundance. Abundance is everything. She's also saying to take this energy to align your chakras. Because here there's a lot of um, dis. You know, a lot of regenerating to do. Balancing. I will be adding chakra oils to my shop soon uh, to do aromatherapy. Especially if you meditate like I do. And uh, soon I'll be sharing you with you the 72 days with the 72 divine names. That's taking me a while because it's a lot of work. But the energy is abundance. It's you becoming one with the allness and the oneness and aligned. And then all of this abundance entering your life. Let's talk. What well, would we say that this was the energy of Scorpio was prosperity? There's your answer. Prosperity. That's what we're getting. Uh, I'm going to try to do a video to show you how to do this ritual. Because a lot of you like to do your stuff at home. And I love to hear how you manifest. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing with me your manifesting. That makes me so happy. And of course, I bring it and share it with everyone else. You could do it. I am doing it. So many others are doing it. You can do it. Let's start manifesting. Let's say no. No to the ones that are trying to stop us. No to the unseen forces and factors that surround us start to work with divine energy the new king comes and takes over i feel like this is divinity this is not a leader this is divine energy in general coming into our world and spreading the love the joy the happiness are we going to see more turmoil and 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 deaths yes because the world is cleaning are we going to see a lot of um uh, uh, natural disasters yes our land needs to be cleansed and cleared. Humans do not take responsibility for the chaos that they have caused over our earth. Everything you could do. I buy now, I, I drink my Starbucks. And what I do now is I have recyclable straws that I take every day and I drink my Starbucks. Everything you do is a positive effort towards our earth. She's our mother. How do you treat your mother? This is, this is what it's about. And then I will be sharing with you soon this beautiful ritual because we have the 1111 new moon energy. It's already available in my shop. And once I hit a thousand, I will be doing a one-on-one -on -one scripting class giveaway. You're going to love it. So I'm almost there. I'm at 806, guys. Thanks to you because you're amazing. Super amazing beings of light that radiate and come here because together we are oneness and allness and pure divine energy get your scripting journal start manifesting 
work on it every day. I have been like I've taken maybe a week off of scripting because a uh, major move. So once I get settled, I will show you my workspace and maybe we'll do some like live readings like we did. My internet should be better. <laughs> that day was crazy. We'll do some. I'll come here and we'll do some readings and you know, maybe hopefully before the full moon of November. Thank you once again for all your love and your energy and your sharing. Don't forget to pin it, um, like it, thumbs up, always puts it on top and shares it with other people. Share it on your social media, you know, because everybody needs these messages. No, you won't stand for it anymore. Yes to transformation. Yes to divine energy. Yes to prosperity and abundance. No more excuses. No more bending over backwards for anyone. You are divine light. You are created in the image of the allness. Be this. Thank you again. Many blessings. A lot of love. <laughs>